everybody, welcome to Story Time at Bay. Today, we're reading All Right Already, a snowy story, written by Jory John and illustrated by Benji Davy. Hope you enjoy. All Right Already, a snowy story. Ah, another magnificent day. I love my morning routine. Wait a minute. Everything looks different. Goodness gracious, it snowed. And not just a little, it snowed a lot. I've got to tell Bear. He won't believe it, but it's true. So he'll have to believe it. Bear, open up. It's stuck from next door. It snowed, old buddy. Come on outside and have a look. What is a duck? I'm in the middle of my bath. Look around, Bear. There's snow everywhere. Let's go exploring. Not a chance, Duck. It's way too cold out there. Come on, Bear. The snow is so powdery and soft, you can dry off later. Ugh. This seems like a bad idea. What a view. Have you ever seen anything so majestic? It's too bright. My eyes hurt. Do you want to play freeze tag? No. Build a four? No. Make a snow bear? No. Sled over here? No. Sled over there? No. Play freeze tag? You already said that. Come on, bear. Let's make snow angels together. Then you can go back to sitting around. <sighs> all right already, duck. Okay, lean back in the snow and move your arms and legs back and forth. Just flap around and voila! Like this? Great! Now let's have a snowball fight. Whap! Isn't this fun? Not at all. <sighs> I'm drenched. I'm going home, duck, okay? That's quite enough excitement for one day. Whatever you need to do, Bear, I'm just glad we got to experience the magic of winter together. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Choo! <coughs> rumble, rumble. Uh oh, flump. <coughs> oh, Bear, it sounds like you've caught a terrible cold. We should take you inside and get you well. No excuses. Do you want me to wrap you up in blankets? No. Make you some soup? Nope. Put a cold compress on your head? No. Put a hot compress on your head? No. Make you some toast? No. Tell you a story from my childhood? No. Wrap you up in blankets? You already said that. Please let me do something, Bear. All right already. <sighs> How about this? My pillow is flat, Duck. You can help me with that, okay? Yes, I'll unflatten your pillow. Okay, Duck. I'll make you some tea. That's fine. And unflatten your pillow. You already said that. And take your temperature. Ugh. <sighs> And read you this magazine. No thanks. And feed you some walnuts. I'm allergic. Duck, you've got you've got to let me rest. That's the only way I'm going to get better, okay? Right now you're not helping me in any way. In fact, you're just making things wor th worse. Out! Now! All right already, Bear. I'll go home. Jeez. Bear's bad attitude is making me feel kind of icky. <coughs> Maybe I should make some achoo tea just in case I'm starting to get <coughs> sick myself. I don't feel so good. I wonder if Bear will notice and come take care of me just like I did for him. That would be nice. Please take care of me. What on earth is Duck doing? Please take care of me. Whoop. Oh, Duck. 
Oh, boy. Bear, oh, bear, you there? Yes, duck, I'm in your kitchen. Oh, good. I like my tea really hot, bear. And I'm starting to get a little sore. And my pillow is flat. Bear? Bear? Are you there, bear? Urgh. All right already, duck. I must get some new neighbors. <laughs> what a cute little story. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.